Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Steven Springer, the head football coach at Claire, uh, getting ready for a big week against Gladwin. Uh, how's it going? Good, Casey. How are you? Doing well. So uh, two and one on the season, two wins in a row. Uh, I know a tough loss week one against Freeland, but overall these first three games. So uh, where do you guys think, where do you think you're at right now? Uh, we're in a good spot. Um, we're excited for the progression that we've made over the last three weeks. Um, obviously we let one slip away, um, uh, against Freeland, uh, but we righted the ship against Pinconning and always a tough physical minded, uh, Beaverton, uh, Beaverton team. So, uh, the, the, the excitement and, and the vibes are good. Um, here. Yeah. Okay. So going into, uh, you know, this, uh, this big week with Gladwin, what do you feel like, and obviously we're going to, be talking about this all day um and all week really uh because we still have to tape the uh the uh, as okay so people don't know this um uh let, let's just i'll plug this right now um we're, we're going to tape the flying g huddle later today of course the show i do with uh, mark jars for the head coach of gladwin uh you're going to be making an appearance on there in the in the somewhat of that are you excited to go on there oh yeah i mean any any chance i get to to step inside the, the g huddle um i'm gonna i'm gonna take advantage of it Okay, so one of the reasons why you're going on there is, of course, the friendship that you have with Mark. Of course, you two used to coach together, awkwardly yeah. enough. At they, you guys are both at Claire under uh, under Kelly. Um, what's that? What What was that like? And how did you guys really kind of become friends? Uh, well, he he was a great ahead of me, so we played um, together um, for a couple years here and there. Um, but really he started coaching my senior year. And then when I started joining the staff, it was just, it was natural. We were the two young punks on staff that, uh, that kind of just bonded naturally because of our age. Um, and then we would always do the grunt work together. We were the ones hauling out the end zone camera, trying to get that set up, um, bringing, bringing some old dogs in the technology world um, on our staff. And, and then we started coaching together um, on the JV staff and his, um, philosophy or mindset on has always been offensively and I've always been a defensive guy so it was uh it was a match made in heaven or other places some people might like to say um but he he focused on the offense and I focused on the defense and we had a lot of fun together um and I think we worked well together and uh then we eventually uh my wife and I moved back to Claire and we were we were neighbors we lived three houses down from one another um our kids uh, go to the same daycare. Uh, we we still hang out all the time. We're at each other's uh, kids' birthday parties. Um, so we do a good job of um, setting football aside when it needs to be set aside, and and just focus on the friendship. Uh, but we're both competitive individuals that uh, that like to like to go at one another. So it's fun. Yeah. Um, so just going into this matchup, I know that this is the first time that you two will be facing each other. Uh, at at Claire, of course, the game last year was in Gladwin. What's that going to be like? Because, you know, this is the first time that you two have faced each other at at Claire. Because, of course, uh, the last time uh, Claire beat Gladwin, of course, Kelly was still the head coach. But um, what's that? Uh, what's that going to be like on Friday night? Uh, I mean, it's it's small school football at its finest. Um, it's two communities that are passionate about their teams. Um, both of them are going to bring a tremendous crowd. It looks like it's going to be phenomenal weather. Um, and it's, it's just, I mean, if there was a, a, a image of Friday night lights in, in the state of Michigan, I, I can't think of a better one. Um, we're, we're proud of our facility. Um, it's going to be packed. There's going to be a lot of people. Um, and like I said, both communities are so passionate that you can, you can feel that out on the field. Um, so it's, it's we're looking forward to it and it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So going into uh, uh, going into this matchup, kind of talk about some of the guys that have really kind of stood out for this team. For our team. Yes. Uh, I mean, we're, we're everyone that we were expecting to do well um, has, has done well. Um, and there's been a few surprises here and there as well. Um, our offensive line is really starting to click. Um, as we've expected it to, as the season progressed, um, a couple of our skill guys have really started to take up or take off. Um, and really, I, I just think collectively, they're really starting to click. Um, the, the vibe before the Beaverton game, um, it was the energy was 
I mean, it was contagious. They were having a lot of fun together. They were loose, but they were all also focused on the task task at hand. So um, we're, it's really a collective effort and, and they're, it, they're really starting to gel. Yeah. Um, you know, talking about like, um, you know, you know, talk about guys like Ryan and Miles, what have they kind of meant to this team as, you know, kind of the, the leaders of the crew? Yeah. Um, like, like we mentioned in our previous interview, we have a lot of experience um, and <clears throat> you can't prepare yourself for varsity football until you actually have done it. Um, so these guys <clears throat> have been through the good times, the bad times, and they, they kind of know that if, with every game, there's going to be highs and lows. Um, and those, those seniors that have been there and done it, um, they're, they're good at um, getting, picking guys up when they need picked up and also reminding them like, Hey, yeah, you just scored a touchdown, but the game's not over. Um, so th that's probably the biggest um, thing that we've had, we have on this team that we haven't had in years past. And obviously like individually, um, Ryan Louch is probably one of the best athletes um, in our area. Um, and that goes for all sports. He's a phenomenal baseball player, good basketball player. Um, and so anytime he gets the ball in his hands, he's, he's fun to watch. Um, same thing with, with guys like Weston Bryant, Aiden Van Bon, um, Ryan Rodenbo, Carter Smedley. Um, we have a good balance offensively as, as to who can carry the load, um, and their, when their number's called. So going into, you know, th this week, what do you feel? And I, for, you know, for everybody, um, what, what, do, what do you guys really have to do to, uh, you know, to get the win against a really, really good team? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're 28 and one the last three years, they've got the second longest winning streak in the state. So, um, we're going to have to, to play clean, um, and play clean means no stupid penalties. Um, make sure there's no turnovers. I mean, limit those turnovers and take advantage of, of the mistakes that they give us. Uh, one thing that Gladwin has been really good at the last few years is, um, minimizing their mistakes and not allowing teams to take advantage of those mistakes. So, um, for example, if, if there's a turnover, um, if Gladwin turns the ball over, their defense is clamps down. Um, they're not going to allow that to, to that momentum to jump over on the other sidelines for that long. Um, just, and that, and that goes with experience. Um, a lot of these kids, um, have have heard have heard all year that they're the new team. They're the new team. Uh, last year's team was the ones that that won it. Well, they they have a lot of experience and a lot of big games, so they understand what they need to do. And and uh, we we have to match that that uh that that level of um, that level of plan. Yeah. All right, Stephen. Thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And uh, we'll talk to you later on. All right. Thanks, Jason.